Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect up an RGB LED to the Arduino. This particular RGB LED that's uh, included in your kit, it has uh, four pins, red, green, and blue, and then a minus. So this is ground, and this supplies the current for the red uh, part of the LED, this for the green part, and B for the blue. This RGB LED actually is three separate semiconductor wafers that give three different wavelengths of light. And as you know from your color theory um, in foundation, uh, if you put red light, green light, and blue light together in uh, equal amounts, you should get something approximately a, approximating a white. And various levels of each of these colors give you all the colors in the rainbow. So uh, I'm going to plug this into the breadboard, and I'll connect up the ground pin. And the first question we need to answer is, okay, do we need to have a resistor in series with each of these pins? So I'm going to try a little experiment. I'm going to connect um, a low ohm resistor to the plus of one of these other pins and see yeah, I think we do. That's green, red, and blue. So I do think that we need to connect this up, each one up to a uh, current limiting resistor before we actually feed each color in. So I'll set up my three resistors. R, G, Oops. excuse me, bump the microphone, sorry about that, B. So in my sketch, which we'll get to in a minute, the red pin is digital 3. So we'll get a red. Connect that here. Green is pin 6. And blue is pin 9. And then we'll do the same thing with short jumpers to the actual device. Now the reason why the LEDs are light, the LED is lighting up is because I've got the previous video's sketch running, the seven segment display running. Okay. So we'll zip over and we'll take a look at the at the sketch. This is uh, an automatic color cycling demo. 
written by Matthew Beckler. This is the, these are the pin uh, allocations to the Arduino. Red is 3, D3, green is D6, and blue is D9. And uh, there's a function here that is defined. We haven't talked about functions, but functions are little programs within the main program that you can create and name yourself. In this case, uh, Matthew has created this program, mini program called Update, and it writes the red, the green, and the blue pins with the values that he's defined within the main body of the sketch. So this is where that's called. So update is uh, called up in the setup, but also it's called in the um, in this section here. And this is a function which is called called what is it called color morph. And it passes two different values from the loop into it. So this function, color morph, has uh, an integer pointer to a value and an integer called get brighter. And so it's going to define how to uh, flow the colors from one to the next. So it will not just give us uh, single colors, it will um, modify the, uh, the color and make it flow from one, one color to the next. So let's upload that. So you can see it's not very, it's not particularly easy to see the colors as they change because the camera doesn't um, render bright colors, bright lighted colors very effectively. But it is flowing from one to the next to the next to the next. So this is a demonstration of how you can use three color RGB LED in your projects. Have fun.